ribbon to two pieces. The first piece do three and a half and the second piece three inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the wings. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take the end of the ribbon and we're not going to cut just like a diagonal, straight diagonal. You kind of want to curve it around and then straight up. And so, I'm going to just show you. So curve it around and then straight up. Kind of like that. After you cut it, make sure to seal your ends so they don't fray. And then do all of the sides. So do this one as well. And this longer one is the top part. And then we want our bottom part, the bottom part of the wings, to be a little bit sharper in there. So if it's going to be facing like this, this is the top, this is the bottom, we want the, the cut to come in like this, not the opposite way. So because this is the bottom, we want it to come in, and like I said, we want to do it a little bit sharper. So I'm going to go like this and curve. And then do the other one. And then seal your ends. And now we're going to create the butterfly part. So we're going to take your needle and thread and create a crease. in the middle of the ribbon. And then take your needle and thread it through. And then wrap it around just a couple times and make sure that it's centered. Take a couple stitches in the back. the top and then we're going to do the same thing with the bottom. Create your crease And again, the same thing. We're just going to go around a couple times and take a couple stitches in the back. And then we have the bottom part of the butterfly. Now we're going to combine the top and bottom part of the butterfly. So I'm just going to take my needle, needle and thread and go through the back, pull all the way through, and then take the bottom. And pull all the way through. And that will combine them together. And then we want to make sure when we're tightening these together that the top part is kind of overlapping the bottom part. Go around and don't pull tightly. I just want it to secure it, but not squish it. And when you've gone around a few times, take a couple stitches. And that gives you your butterfly. So now we're just going to finish it up with the body and the antenna. All right, now we're going to wrap the wings with our 3 8 inch matching piece of ribbon. Make sure that you've sealed your end. So turn your butterfly wings around. Place a dot of glue on the back. 
and place your ribbon down. And then we're going to wrap the ribbon around the butterfly wings twice. So, cut your ribbon, place a dot of glue, and secure. And make sure to seal your end that you just cut. All right, so that gives our little butterfly a little body. And now we're going to attach the antenna. This is an eighth of an inch white grosgrain, and we cut this to one and a half inches. So turn your butterfly around, and then just get a little bit of glue, and we're going to place your butterfly antenna at an angle. So here's our finished butterfly and we're just gonna add it to a clip. So take your lined clip, put some hot glue on it, and then just place it on the back of your butterfly. And we want to make sure that we place it so it's not showing in the front. And that finishes this super cute butterfly bow.